Hello everyone and welcome to Robotics and Mechatronics Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to install ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco on Linux Ubuntu 24.04. Since a lot of viewers of this channel are completely new to ROS2, here are some very important things to keep in mind before you start the installation process. Number one. To run ROS2 Jazzy, you need Linux Ubuntu version 24.04. The suggestion is to avoid Windows and Windows subsystem for Linux, and I will explain the reasons later on. Then, a lot of people who are completely new to ROS always struggle with the question about the best and the most appropriate version of ROS2 to start with and to learn. Here is the suggestion to everyone. ROS2 Jazzy end of life date is May 2029. On the other hand, the end of life of ROS2 Humble is May 2027. Logically, you should start learning ROS2 Jazzy. Sooner or later, all the code written for ROS2 Humble will have to be migrated to ROS2 Jazzy. Maybe currently you can find more information and better support for ROS2 Humble, however, this will change soon as more and more people start using ROS2 Jazzy as, as well as more and more people adopt ROS2 Jazzy. Now, Although it might be possible to run ROS2 Jazzy on Windows or Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL, our experience is that an average user will sooner or later experience a number of issues when running ROS2 Jazzy on Windows or WSL. Consequently, install Linux Ubuntu 24.04 on your computer and install ROS2 Jazzy. If you are primary running or using Windows on your computer, you can easily set up a dual boot option and install a native Linux Ubuntu 24.04 in parallel to your Windows operating system. Ok, let's start with installation. The first step is to go to the official ROS2 documentation webpage and to find the installation section or you can directly follow this link. I will provide this link in the description below this video. That is, don't go to any blogs, don't go to Facebook pages, go to the official web page and from here you should start installation. Then, the next thing that's confusing for people who are completely new to ROS is what option for installation to choose. Here you have binary packages and then you have building from source. If you're completely new to ROS, as well as if you're an average user of ROS, you should stick to binary packages. Binary packages are actually pre-compiled installation files and you will just download them, do a few things on your computer and run them. Okay, now over here under Linux Ubuntu you have two options. Stick to this recommended options. Consequently click over here. Okay, now over here are the set of commands that you need to execute in your terminal. Okay, so let's open a Linux terminal, click here and search for terminal. Here it is. And I'm going to resize this terminal such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time you can follow this page. First of all, we need to do system setup. And the first step is to set locale. Now, most likely you already have UTF-8 on your system. However, let's just double check that you have. So let's first start with this command. As you can see over here, all the parameters are set to UTF-8. So most likely I don't need to do anything over here, but just in case I will run all these commands. This command will update and upgrade locales, enter your sudo password, then run this one, then run this command, then over here you need to export this parameter or better to say to configure this parameter and again if you type locale you will see that everything is actually as it was, so I didn't even have to execute this. 
The next step is very important. You need to enable required rep repositories. First of all, you need to ensure that Ubuntu Universe repository is enabled. Most likely, it's already enabled if you were using Linux for some time. However, let's run this one and let's add repository universe. Okay. Enter. Let's do this. And now let's wait. Okay. Next, we need to add these ROS2 GPG key with apt. First of all, you need to update and you need to run, you need to install actually curl. Then you need to add this key. That is, you need to execute this. Then you need to add the repository to your source list. So let's execute this command. And that's it. So all these commands are actually very important. However, since you're completely new to ROS, then just execute them without even understanding what they do. However, maybe in the next iteration, you could try to understand what's happening over here. The next step is to install development tools. And they say this is optional. However, I don't think this is optional. You should actually do this. This will install an additional ROS development tool that will ease your life and later on you will not need to install additional packages. So run this command. And you can see that everything is being executed relatively quickly. This is because we are not building from source. And finally, we need to install ROS2. To install ROS2, run this command and then in the same line you can type this and execute this command. This will update and upgrade everything. So let's run this and that's it. And then finally, you can run this command and this command should install ROS Jazzy Desktop. So let's install it and press yes. Note over here that I'm installing the full desktop version of ROS to Jazzy. However, if you want to install only the base version, that is only the communication libraries, message packages, command line tools, and no graphics user interface tools, then you should run this command. I'm not going to run this command. Okay, so let's be patient over here since this might take a while. Maybe even, uh, maybe even like three to five minutes. So let's see. This option over here is optional and if you're completely new to ROS, just skip it for the time being. The next step is to set up environment and this is already not installation. Right now I will demonstrate how to use ROS. Okay, so let's say now we completely close this terminal window and you want to test ROS2 on your system. Okay, so first of all open a new terminal and over here I'm going to resize this terminal. So let's see what's happening over here. Now, whenever you want to do something in ROS, you need to execute this setup.bash file. So let's now investigate this file's location. So if you type this, you will be directed to a new folder where ROS2 Jazzy is installed, and here it is. Now, if you list the content of this folder, you will see this very important setup.bash file. So let's now look into this setup.bash file without editing it. So do not edit this file. Let's just see what this file is. Okay, so here you can see a bunch of commands. Actually, it's a script file. Very good. Okay, so here is, the, here is the idea. Whenever you want to use ROS, you need to source this file. Sourcing means executing this file. Okay, so let's repeat again. Start a terminal. Here is our terminal. Go over here, resize the terminal, and let's type this. Okay, now we can run all the ROS commands since all the parameters are configured and the path is adjusted. So let's try an example. A typical example, which is a hello world for ROS2 programming, is to run the ROS talker listener example. So let's run this example. 
To run this example, since we have already sourced the environment, we need to run this command. So this command will run the file, or actually will run a node called talker from this demo node cpp project. So let's run this and let's see what happens. Okay. So what's happening over here, we are publishing through an appropriate topic, the message, hello world, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So ROS2 works like this. You have a node and this node can publish a message through an appropriate topic. A topic can be seen as a tunnel or a channel that's used to communicate messages. On the other hand, you need to have a node that will receive this message. So let's start this node. To start this node, open a new script and again, you need to source the setup file and then you need to run a node that's called the listener. Again, this node is executed like this. You're calling ROS2 run. Then this is the package demo nodes written in Python and here is the listener node. And here it is. So you can see that this listener node received through the appropriate topic the message hello world 56 or let's say here 65 and here is 65 being sent so in real time we have established communication between two nodes and this means that ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco works as it should work okay that's all for today and thanks for watching also consider to support my channel either through liking or making a donation Thank you and have a nice day.